Hey, sister, bro, this is a part two. Y'all know how I am with my phones. Y'all know. So, uh, Satan think he getting the victory, but he ain't getting no victory. We're going to keep on pushing. So, this is the part two about the Lord revealing about us when he's talking about false doctrine and all that stuff with the false prophets. He ain't exposing season, y'all. Um, so, uh, this is part two. Okay, so we was on Jeremiah 24, y'all. The Lord showed me, and there were two baskets, a figs, <coughs> a fig set. Before the temple of the Lord, after Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive uh, Jacona, <laughs> the son of Jacum, Jacum, king of Judah, and the prince of Judah with the craftsmen of Smith with Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. See, he had held them captive. We, we read from um, Jeremiah 24 about when the Lord was talking about what he going to do to prophets. But look at this, the false prophets. Look, they don't held the man captive. Nebuchadnezzar them. Told you God speaking. He's setting his people free. Revival. Okay, so uh, one basket had very good figs, like the fig that was fit that are fig right first right. And the other basket had very bad figs, and which could not be eaten. They were so bad. Then the Lord said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, and the bad, very bad which cannot be eaten. They are so bad. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, thus said the Lord, the God of Israel, like those good figs, so will I acknowledge those who are carried away in captivity from Judah. Tell you the Lord taking care of the good people going to come get them. Whom I have sent out of this place for their own good into the land of the Chalonese. For I will set my eyes on them for good and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them and not pull them down, and I will plant them and not pluck them up. Then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heartedly. Tell God I'm doing so much stuff, repentance. People are going to repent and come to the Lord, and then we can do a revival. <coughs> Tell backsliders, people you know, all this stuff. And the bad figs will not be eaten. So they are bad. Surely thus said the Lord. So I will give to Zechariah, the king of Judah, his prince, and, and re residue of Jerusalem, who remain in the land, and those who dwell in the land of Egypt. I will not deliver them to trouble into all the kingdoms of the earth, for their harm to be real poach. And by word and taunt and curse, by word a taunt and curse in all places, which I shall drive them, and I will send the sword of famine and the pestilence among them till they are consumed from the land that I give to them and their fathers. And when the Lord said right here, he brought me back to this. Some will come and some must go. That all a part, that's all a part of the show. What he gave me yesterday when I broke bread with him, that word, he said some will come and some must go. That's all a part of the show. That's why I say some will come. He, take, he freeing his people and some must go. The irresponsible shepherds that's still out there, the uh, false prophet, the false leaders, the false teachers, uh, them head people. God ain't, he started from the, thank you, Lord. Y'all know when the Lord first started me on this video, on this um, YouTube, this channel, he started giving us an order of things. And this is the order. Remember I said he's going to start from the head and going to work his way down? This is how he's destroying them too. Just the order that he is. God is a man of order, y'all. So he started like with they you see him exposing the head people, the presidents, the mayors, the governors, all them. He, he um wickedness in high places. Oh, the Lord said he's exposing wickedness in high places, y'all. Thank you, Lord. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Flesh and flesh and blood. We we fight again. Let me get that scripture, y'all. Now he exposing, you know, all the head people starting exposing stuff. Then he up into the church, y'all. Like I said, we ain't nobody excluded. Us too, if we don't walk right with the Lord. He don't have no favors. This is what they doing, y'all. God, I'm telling you, God don't need what his way back. And he going in order of destroying people. You reaping what you sow season. Let's see. I know this phone. <laughs> Let's see. 
Um, yeah. So, and then also, so God just saying what he told us, y'all. What he gave us yesterday, he just speaking on it again today. I am the protection for this nation. All they have to do is come to me to be set free. Some come and some must go. That's all a part of the show. Then he told me about revival, to bring people back to life in the Lord. And this is what the Lord is saying. And then he told us, I, I, he told me, he said, look at the description for revive. It says, to revive apparent death or unconsciousness also, to all whom seek his face along the race. So, who all seek the Lord's face? He's he sending revival. He's going to get his people, y'all. And he's destroying where he go. Okay, we can, for we we for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but prince against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness in high places, against all spiritual weakness in high places. So, Lord, that's why I'm saying high places, all of evil, wickedness in high places, church and all. Play want to play church, false prophet, the irresponsible leaders. He going from the top. He did royalty. He he, he exposing everything, y'all. God is a man that does not lie. And that's why we got to stay humble and keep our face to the Lord, y'all, because you know we're going to expect persecution because there's always something coming. Then, um, thank you, Lord. And I brought, the Lord brought to me the other day when I looked at, um, he posted the, the Biden video and, um, a video about Biden on there. And he was talking about gun laws, y'all, terrorists with guns. And the Lord put in my spirit that he trying to stop, uh, going to try to come against gun laws, y'all, because, you know, if they take out the weapons and stuff for people. And um, then you ain't going to be able to fight. They're trying to take everything from folks, y'all. So when he said something about, and I, I just don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know if I can got, uh, get it on the history. Because y'all been seeing stuff that I've been telling y'all. And I try to go on the history. Um, some of I can't find it. But the Lord talk, talking to me through stuff. So he probably showed it to me then. So if I find it, I'm going I'm to show it to y'all. But y'all probably know. Somebody probably seen it. He was talking about something about terrorists and guns, about guns, these guns. And the Lord told me they are trying to take away the gun, something dealing with gun laws also, y'all. Because if we don't have no weapons, then they could defeat us. Because ain't no people, ain't, people ain't going without no fight. These people around here, they, they shoot. So something with guns, because they want to take away everything. Satan want to take away everything from us, y'all, so he could take over us. But God blocking stuff, y'all. So he brought this to my attention. Thank you, Dad. So he wanted me to, he told me to tell y'all about that. Thank you, Father, because I forgot about it. So watch, that's something with them too, with the laws, with gun laws. Some, something about he was terrorist. Because I told you God told me in the dream that that word fatter is saying laws. They trying to do all kind of laws, but God blocking stuff, y'all. Because I still see him block, putting his hand up blocking stuff. Because he's going he, he gonna to keep on fighting to set his people free, y'all. So a lot of people lost and stuff. People were seeing they held captive, y'all. So, yeah, something with these laws, guns, too, y'all. Law, because it's terrorists. So, then, then I seen something the Lord told us about terrorists. Then he said something again about guns. So, listen to what the Lord is speaking to us, y'all. So, it's all kind of stuff they're trying to do. They try to come against and take your weapon. They try to be able to get over people. They know people ain't going without no fight. You people ain't going with that. Tell my knock on their door and you're going to try to force somebody to take uh, some, a mark or something. These people shoot. So, you got to understand yeah, the Lord brought to me. Thank you, Dad. Some of my guns. Guns. So pay attention, y'all. Watch this stuff. And then he told me, study, telling me crime on the rise. And then I seen something, y'all. People coming to people's doors, acting like they delivery people. Like they, um, you know how them um come deliver food and stuff? The one man was on a bike. If I find it on a bike or something, I see. <laughs> the Lord showed me so much. This is why I say, don't be careful also open your doors with people, y'all. Don't open your doors with people. This man was on a bike, I think, and I seen another one, too. These people just shooting and everything, coming to your house. think he was playing like he was a, ooh, you know how they deliver the food and stuff? Come to your house and you ordering on the food, and like the delivery man, and they were shooting. So, watch this, too, on the rise, y'all. Be careful that. Don't answer your door to people. Y'all. Oh, thank you, Dad. Y'all, and then the Lord just gave me this. Well, he gave us everything. Remember when the Lord was telling us in the scripture about grapes? He said something about grapes, y'all. He gave me this. If I can. Here we go. Thank you, Lord. This right here, y'all. Reaping the harvest. Let's read this in Revelation, y'all. Uh, 
Let's do reaping the harvest, y'all. Uh, Revelation 14, and it's going to go from 14 until the Lord tell us to stop, y'all. Because he's talking about reaping and sowing season. And he got me up into this too, y'all. Because then we talking about with the, uh, all these false prophets, all of reaping and sowing. So let's see what the Lord said. Then I looked and behold a white horse, I mean a white cloud. And on the cloud sat one like a son of man, having on his head a golden crown and his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, thus in, thus in your, your sickle and weep. For the time has come for you to weep for the harvest of the end. The harvest of the earth is ripe. <coughs> so he who sat on the cloud, thus in his, in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. Then another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven. He also had a sharp sickle. And another angel came from the altar who had, a, had, who had power over fire. And he called with a loud cry to him who had the sharp sickle, saying, Thus is your sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for the her grapes are fully ripe. So the angel thus his sickle into the earth, and gathered the vine of the earth, and threw it to the great great wine press of the wrath of God. And the wine press was trampled outside of the city, and the blood came out of the wine press, wine press up to the horse brittles for one thousand six hundred furlongs. For one thousand six hundred furlongs. Furlongs. I wonder what that is, y'all. But look at the Lord talking about reaping, harvest. Told you God said he ain't reaping the harvest season. But he talking about I don't say with blood. Told y'all death. And God talking about he exposing, reaping and harvest. Let's see what this is. Fur furlong, y'all. I don't know what that is. Lord, this, we don't. It says for 1,600 furlongs. Yeah, I know I'm trying to look. Let's see what this is, y'all. Let's see. How they going to go 40 nights per foot? Four nights. Y'all. Tell y'all. Let's see Bible verse. Definition. There we go. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> oh, it says, it means the distance of a team oxen could plow without resting. So without resting, y'all. God doing this, reaping his song without resting. I'm going to put that scripture at the bottom too, y'all, so y'all can read this. And anything else I see, I'm going to put that Todd, that, that uh, Mike Todd video down there so y'all can see. Oh my God, I got to go back to the other one too to put it up on there because some people see. And I'm going to put the, uh, this scripture on there. And he said, uh, furlong means uh, to plow without resting. Reaping and sowing season, y'all. Without resting. Lord. Y'all keep your eyes on the Lord. And then anything else he brings to my attention, y'all. Y'all know I tell y'all about it. Because uh, he always tell me to alert y'all. Keep your eyes on the Lord, y'all. And be aware of wolves and sheep clothing. Counterfeits and wolves and sheep clothing. The Lord told us not to be deceived. This show us all a lot of people deceived too. Following these folks. And he told us also in the word, they, uh, these people going to be, some of you got to understand, some of them be friends and some of them going to be persecuting us, y'all. Because they following these different doctrines, these witches and all this stuff, Jezebels. Too much going on. But God got us covered, y'all. And keep the faith, y'all. Keep your faith. And don't give up. Wait on the Lord. This is not the time, not the time, not the place. Y'all, wait on the Lord. Y'all, and he said, it's still hope for the hopeless. So that song, y'all, he steady bringing me to that song. So, there's still peace for the peaceless. So God's still freeing his people, y'all. God is a man that never lie. We love y'all. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. Knowing things will never be the same. Worship and glorify his holy name, Jesus Christ.